Good morning, folks. It's Friday morning, and the soap of the day is from Sterling Soap Company. It's Black Cherry. You get approximately 5.8 ounces of goodness in this tub, and it's a firm but soft soap. You can push your finger in there. It smells great. Just, just like the label says, Black Cherry. That's what it smells like. Spot on. Allen Block, still no rubber band. <laughs> Unscented Witch Hazel, mentholated. A little follow up with Daniel A's uh, Aftershave Black Cherry. Still using the Shaven Sailor Beard Oil off camera. Got it whipped up here in a Sarabachi Bone. Whipped up with a, um, this is a brush from Mac Metalworks. And the uh, uh, synthetic knot there, if I remember right, is the whip dog knot. But got more than enough for this shave. It was a lot of fun whipping this one up. Shaver of the day. I mentioned this one here in the last video. It's a one core, one blade uh, core. I'll get the name right here in a moment. And um, mostly plastic. Does have a little bit of metal. Just run it right down through the center on the handle. Has a pivoting head. Pretty sure most of you have seen this. This is, I got this one here used, and uh, as far as I know, this is the uh, first version. The part that I mentioned that you want to uh, pay special attention to is there's little guides or stops right here at the front that are made out of plastic, and if you're not careful and you push that blade too far forward, it'll take off the tops of that uh, those hooks. And you can kind of tell they're not very tall to begin with. And uh, you'll shave those right off. And only, unless you want to despine a uh, gem blade, this is the uh, kind of blades they take. It's a feather blade, FHS. You can find these usually at Maggard's. But um, these, these blades here do not have a spine on the back like a gem blade does. So that's the part that they, some folks might be referring to. You can take that spine off of a gem blade and try to use it. I haven't give that a try. Didn't think that most folks would be, how you say, enjoy despining a bunch of gem blades. <laughs> so in other words, this is pretty much the only blade for this shaver. My experience with it is I usually get uh, two good, comfortable shaves with the blade. The third one's pretty tuggy, not so much comfortable, and that sharpness, there's a big difference in between the second shave and the third shave. There, it drops off dramatically, in other words. Go ahead and get started here with the uh, pre-shave soap. At least that's been my experience with the blade. As it goes for the shaver itself, it uh, gets smooth shaves with it. I mean, it's a, it's a joy to use. But, uh, there's a, you know, to me there's two key things that bug me about this thing. Is the, uh, those stop hooks at the front, those stops. And the, uh, for most folks, the fact that you only, more or less, you have one blade choice. The blade choice, if I got more shaves out of it, that would be more comfortable. Might help justify the price, because I think, last time I remember looking, 10 blades, about 750 a pack. Um, I don't know, for some people that might be a bit much. Once you start dividing up, you know, figuring up how much it costs per blade. Especially when you compare it to other single edge shavers and how many shaves you'll get out of the blade and the cost and all that sort of thing. So, I guess it really depends upon on the user. This is very similar to the, uh, I guess you might say the big brother that's all metal version. Uh, I have not tried that one. It looks really nice. It's still, a, for me, a, a wee bit out of my uh, budget. <laughs> Quite a ways. I think I remember looking, it's been a while, you get a refurbished version of the one blade. I think the going price was right around $200. Brand new, I think it was $400. I haven't looked in a while because that's still, that's out of my price range. I'm, 
I just can't hardly bring myself to spend that kind of money on a shaver when I've got some that are far less expensive. In other words, I don't want to use the word cheap because uh, when you say, you say cheap, that kind of has a, a negative meaning to it. And it's just, you know, ones that are inexpensive compared to two or four hundred dollars. And I get great shaves with them. Heck, some of them, you know, were under twenty dollars and shaved just fine. Vintage, even some of the newer shavers that are coming out. Pretty inexpensive, forty dollars or less. Still get really good shaves. One comes to mind. It's about I don't know somewhere around the twenty-seven dollar mark. For instance, the fine accoutrements, uh, uh, super light slant. That shaver there, for instance, get really good shaves with that one. Three D printed ones uh, from Shapeways. Uh, take your pick. I had, what, three of them? Hydra, so on and so forth. Twelve, thirteen dollars, somewhere in that neighborhood. Shave with them every day. You know, it, it's, of course, it depends on what you want to shave with and how much you want to spend. If you got that kind of cash to spend on a shaver, you know, I don't blame you. Because that one blade, it does look good. And it just looks like it would like last you a lifetime. It is, like I said, this is a very easy shaver to use. Definitely for somebody that's maybe transitioning from a cartridge, this would be an easy one to tran uh, make that switch with. I would say the blade feel would probably take a person switching from a cartridge. It may take them a moment to get used to that blade feel because there is just a little bit of a blade feel, not a whole lot. It is an easy shaver to use. As goes for the slickness of handle, it's a uh, little bit wet. Don't know if you can tell that or not. The fact that they've got the groove, I guess you might say, on the side where the metal bar is at, exposing that, um, does make it a little bit easier to hang on to if the wet handle gets wet. Plus, I use my little finger on the bottom, and I think that's probably. Um, Yesterday I used the Palin uh, Injectomatic. Might be something to keep in, in mind in the way of design. That was uh, that was so that you can put your little finger on there to help help with the control of the shaver. Of course, if you're better than I am about keeping <laughs> keeping the handle dry, it's a it becomes a non-issue. <laughs> I try to keep in mind when I shave with a shaver like this, what would be, what would I think most people would encounter? How do they shave? Watching enough videos and not everybody when they start out, their technique is going to be up to speed with a new shave reel. It's, it's going to take a few shaves. And this one here, I pretty much try to treat it um, as if the head doesn't pivot, but even when it does, it still stays right there where it should. I say once you get past the two hurdles that I've mentioned or anything else that concerns you. It for me, yeah, it gives me great shaves. For somebody that's trying to stretch how many shaves you get out of one blade, that third that third shave was, in other words, on third shave on the one blade was, I was not willing to press it for the fourth one. Third was plenty. So in other words, shoot for that smooth and comfortable. For me, two shaves on the blade would be plenty. That's, that's as far as I want to go with it. Don't feel comfortable going past three at all.
it's not always easy to see on camera how easy it is to use a shaver not knowing what the experience is from the guy on the camera how much experience he's got with the shaver or shaving period sometimes just like watching Anthony shave with a straight razor <laughs> he makes it look so easy <laughs> There really isn't much of a learning curve with this one here, though. At least not in my opinion. It, it's pretty easy to use. It's just too bad that I might be able to convince myself to get past the stop hook issue. Because once you figure it out, you can adjust how you put that blade in and just be very careful when you do that. But then again, you still got the same issue with the blade, though. And as far as I know, Feather is the only one that makes a blade for it, so in other words, you're kind of stuck. I don't know, and I haven't looked that hard either, whether Kai makes one that may fit. As far as I know, they don't. In other words, I don't know very many other folks that would even attempt to make a, a blade for it. There's not very many shavers that use that kind of blade so there's not that much of a demand kind of see where it's going so if they decide to stop making that blade <laughs> kind of your shavers kind of hosed kind of falls to the wayside like some of the vintage shavers have where the blades are I guess you might say the one and only's I don't know if you can hear that feedback or not. Did with this, it's still wet, but a little bit thicker than usual. So in other words, for the most part, it is fairly easy to rinse out. I didn't get home until, what was it? around 11 o'clock last night after the football game. And in other words, I purposely picked this shaver for, for this kind of day. Did not get much sleep. Did not want to get up this morning. And definitely need something that was going to be easy to shave with. This is really easy to shave with. Almost, you could almost say effortlessly. Pretty close to it. The team, Broken Arrow, played a, uh, another town relatively close here, what they refer to in the Tulsa metro area. The city's name is Jinx. The two teams are ranked one and two. Broken Arrows rated number one, and they did win last night. The um, here locally, I, <laughs> I had no idea until just last night that you could bring it up on your phone as well as on a computer. Uh, the school system here, Broken Arrow. Um, has a website and you can pull it up on your phone also called AeroVision and you can watch the game on the computer or on your phone and uh, that was pretty cool Some people, if I, when I was reading about some of the reviews on this shaver, I guess you might say they were complaining about being too mild. I guess if you're looking for an aggressive shaver, yeah, this is not for you. It's not aggressive. But very easy to get a good, smooth, comfortable shave, and I think that's what they were really trying for. 
<clears throat> they said that's what a lot of guys are looking for. If you're just looking to get your shave on, not too much into all the scents, don't really care too much about the aftershave. I say just you're just trying to get your shave done so you can go to work and be all right. Especially if you like you're in the military or something along those lines where uh, that is a guess you might say a requirement. Be clean shaven. This would be an easy shaver to, to pick. Like I say you can shave with it when you're tired. You don't have to focus too much on your technique. You can whip your shave out, go on about your day. Pretty easy. Close enough. You saw me do just a little bit on the pickups, if you will. Darn near BBS, very close. Pretty much effortless. Didn't take a whole lot of effort. Not much at all. But looking at this uh, shaver for long term, like I said, you're, you're stuck with the one, one particular blade. And you've got to be careful putting that blade in when you're installing it. Otherwise, the will shave the top of those stops right off. As I sure enough did. Didn't realize I was pushing it that far in when I first got it, and it was like, oh my gosh. And realized what I had done. Kind of smoothed out the tops a little bit because they were a little pokey. <laughs> because of shaving off that plastic like that. <laughs> but you do have to pay close attention to something like that. Design wise, I don't know for them whether it's, uh, are they selling enough of them? How difficult is it to redesign? those stops where maybe they're a little bit more sturdy. I don't know how much trouble it would be to try to mold that plastic around some metal so that the metal would stop that blade from going any further. It'd be hard to say. I guess you might say sometimes plastic isn't always the best uh, piece of uh, material to make a shaver with sometimes. Depends on how it's made, I guess you might say. Taller stops probably would have made a big difference. It wouldn't have to be that much taller either. Tall enough where it would really hit that instead of just come right off the top. This month I do plan on shaving with a uh, the Starling. I do not have the new plates. This will be re revisiting the original plates. I'll pick one. I know last time I really struggled with that shaver. That shaver there is the, the one I struggle with the most. More so than a, than a uh, straight razor. I just really, really struggled with that shaver. Trying to get a good one without... My problem was I'd get scratches just wherever. It just seemed like it didn't matter what I did, where I went. Kind of see what it looks like when you shake it up there. By the way, if this first time you see in uh, Painted Lays uh, aftershave, it does not contain alcohol, it's just witch hazel and water and you know the rest of the good stuff, but no alcohol. So if you're not a fan of the big burn, her aftershaves might be something you're looking for. Really nice scent. Enjoy the the black cherry. Now my nose is um, what I refer to as part-time worker. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it'll go weeks or even a month at a time and I don't smell much of anything. And then sometimes I can smell anything and everything. And uh, so how long does an aftershave last per my nose? Well, probably, most likely, uh, to greatly in your favor that it will be different than mine. <laughs> Manny will know what I'm talking about. It's uh, <laughs> My nose is not the most reliable. It's been like that for as long as I can remember. I suffer from sinus issues, allergies. It's been ongoing for as long as I can remember, so... I know that has a lot to do with the reason why sometimes I don't smell things and or how long I do smell them. 
my wife. Her nose works a lot better than mine, so I usually trust hers. Once again, shave with the uh, one blade core. Here, there we go. Now it's right side up. Pivoting head. I haven't decided since I do get two shaves out of the blade, I might go ahead and shave with it tomorrow. I haven't quite decided just yet, but I do. It's a great shave. No nicks, cuts, weepers, irritation, nothing of the sort. Allen Block had, there was no, no irritation. I mean, no stinging, no nothing from the Allen Block. Great report. Like I said, it's darn near effortless. Great shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Tomorrow being a Saturday, college football. Needless to say, I'm rooting for the local teams. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.